Hello, it's Jesse, and I'm back with another plan with me. This week I am planning for the week of Christmas and I know it's the end of January but I really wanted to show you all this beautiful kit from Zadie's stickers and I'm also trying to catch up with my plan with me spreads as well. I thought this kit was really fitting for this week with its blue tones and rose gold foiling and it just had lovely imagery of a white Christmas which allows me to live out my fantasies since I do live in SoCal and we don't get snow here at all um, unless you're up in the mountains or if you're in Malibu two days ago which apparently it did snow there that was very very unusual for SoCal weather. But in any case, I am going ahead and putting down the bottom washi. This week, I chose to just use the one strip of 15 millimeter bottom washi. And then I also went ahead and put the date covers on the top. This was my first time using a Sadie's Stickers kit. <laughs> it's really hard for me to say her name, Sadie's Stickers. Um, anyway, yeah, it was my first time using one of her kits and it was really easy and straightforward. The kit format was very um, easy to follow and I love how it came out in the end. So starting out with Monday, I used a third box and I left it blank in terms of not pulling out any icon stickers from my stash because I didn't want to cover up the foiling on that box. But I used it to mark down that it was the first day of winter, which if you know me, this was something momentous to mark down in my planner because I thrive in cold weather and I absolutely hate the summertime. Afterwards, I put down a foil header along with a full box from the kit and then I also used a little arrow flag sticker also from the kit to mark down that we put our shop on vacation. It was our first time going on vacation, like truly closing down the shop for a couple of weeks and it was really nice to take a break. So afterwards, I put down a half box and a Grin and Barrett sticker to mark that Ricky actually quit his job that Monday also. So a couple of exciting things that day. He had been thinking about doing it for a little while and so he finally pulled the trigger that day. Afterwards, we ended the night with um, playing the game The Last of Us 2. We actually finished the game that night. I did have some qualms about the ending, but I shall not talk about it in case anybody wanted to play and not get spoiled. But to mark that longer duration of time, I used a arrow uh, sticker from the kit along with a Fox and Cactus game controller icon sticker. And then we ended the night with a triple cat bath. All three of them got into something dusty and they were all super dirty. So it really is an ordeal and a huge undertaking to give all three cats a shower. I think it ended up taking us like a couple of hours just to you know get everybody all clean and then dried and we were really tired by the end of the night. In any case on Tuesday we started the day with some boba. Ricky was really nice and he went out and got us some boba so I used a Kina Prince girl sticker to mark that down. Afterwards I took three dot stickers from the kit to mark down that I did some orders and so I print, cut, and packed some stickers. And then I also used a label sticker and a Once More With Love munchkin to mark down that Ricky actually helped me pack orders this day. Um, I believe I gave him all of the really easy pre-sale orders, like orders that only consisted of one or two washies and so it was really easy for him to pack but it was actually a huge help, you know, because most of the time it's just me packing all of the orders so I really appreciated that he helped out that day. Afterwards I put down another foil header along with a full box from the kit and then I used a third box along with a Once More With Love munchkin. Um, the sticker says Saranghae which is I love you in Korean because I was watching a Korean drama called Reply 1988. I've since finished that drama and it is one of my top five all-time favorite dramas like I have a Reply 1988 shaped hole in my heart after I finished it. It was just really touching in terms of the family relationships that the drama portrayed. If you guys like Korean dramas, I highly recommend that one. So when I say I watched 1988, I mean I binge watched it into the early hours of the morning. I watched, I slept at 7am. So. Honestly, that's not unusual for me now, but I used a sleepy bunny sticker from some little things and along with a half box to mark that down. Afterwards, I used a page flag and an I hate stupid sticker. I don't remember where that's from. I'm sorry, I had it in my reusable sticker book, but I had an angry Poshmark customer that day who left me a really bad review because USPS took a really long time to get the package to her. And honestly, 
things like that really trigger me as a shop owner because once we send something out, it's really out of our hands. Um, and USPS has been really delayed with holidays and COVID. And so it really is a pet peeve of mine when people don't understand um, situations like that can happen. But anyways, I used a full box. And then we ended the day with Ennaka for dinner. It's like this really fancy restaurant in SoCal and we thought we would treat ourselves. Um, they were offering some takeout like bento boxes. Uh, it wasn't that great. <laughs> or maybe my tastes are just not sophisticated enough for like fine dining, but I would much rather eat something else than the... I think we paid $80 for that and I wasn't even full. So yeah, I was a little bit disappointed, but we ended the night with... Um, or I ended the night finishing up the book The Only Good Indian, so I used a Fox and Cactus Reading Girl sticker to mark that down. So on Thursday, I used a full box sticker and then a label sticker with a Some Little Things Crying Bunny to mark down that I took out my piercing. Long story short, I had three lobe piercings that I gotten done in 2019 for my birthday. So it's been over a year and a half and slowly, one by one, they've all gotten infected and I've had to take them out. Um, my ears are just really finicky no matter how diligently I clean them every day and I used 14 karat gold jewelry and everything so I've decided that the piercing life is just not for me no matter how much I love them. So moving on, I had these glitter, uh, these foil headers from the kit and I stacked them all together to make a solid colored background. Ricky and I watched the movie The Palm Springs and so I used a movie marquee from our shop to mark that down. I really enjoyed the movie. It was a really cute rom-com. And then that night, we had some packages stolen from our mailbox. So I used a WTF um, Once More With Love munchkin to mark that down. It was really, it was just not the Christmas spirit. Somebody went around and just broke into all of the mailboxes on our street. So that was, that was very, very, very great. That night I started the Obama book A Promised Land and it is a chonky boy. That book is really long. I think it's like 700 something pages. Um, it's really funny because in the book Obama was talking about how during his campaign days he had trouble condensing what he wanted to say because he always had a lot of things he wanted to talk about and it wasn't advantageous to him for the campaign but um, I think that this book really reflects that particular character trait of his so I haven't finished it quite yet. Friday was Christmas and so I used a scallop sticker from the kit to mark that and then I used a Hello Petite Paper TV sticker to mark that Ricky and I watched the movie Soul. Um, it was okay for us. I, I'm almost kind of afraid to say that because I know a lot of people really loved it and uh, thought it was really insightful and just great all around. So I'm really sorry if I offend anyone. I must not have a heart but Ricky and I just thought it was like okay. It was it wasn't the greatest movie for us it wasn't like the worst pixar movie either it was just kind of in the middle somewhere so moving on before i continue offending people um i used a full box and then i tried something different with these corner stickers from the kit i sort of created them into like a faux half box shape to mark that ricky and i had christmas dinner with my family and then i used an annoyed girl along with a label sticker um the annoyed girl is from our shop and the label stickers from the kit and I marked that this vendor from my part-time job called my personal phone number like five times that night. I don't know how he got a hold of it. I'm assuming somebody from the company must have told him but yeah he called repeatedly and I was like it's Christmas dude like chill. So that was a little bit uh, stressful. He was asking about like some payment status of some sort. Um, but anyways, Saturday, Ricky and I binge watched Alice in Borderland on Netflix and so I used a Caress Press um, Unicorn TV watching sticker. That's a really good show by the way if you're not afraid to watch like really high intensity sort of stressful, sometimes violent shows. So afterwards, I filmed a haul video and so I used a third box along with this camera from Love Shira to mark that down and then Ricky and I had some late night ramen which you all know is the best time to have ramen so I used a once more with love cooking munchkin for that. On Sunday I uploaded the haul video that I had filmed the night prior and that's an upload sticker from Paper and Milk. I wrote that on a half box. Um, that video is now live so if you haven't seen the notification for it and wanted to watch it. Uh, feel free to, I would really appreciate it after this video is over. 
Afterwards, I used a page flag from the kit along with a Fox and Pip Girl on a Laptop sticker to mark down that I had posted a Harry Potter sneak peek on our Facebook group. Of course, that collection is now um, released because I am catching up on these spreads, but our Facebook group is a great place to be if you just want earlier access to artwork that we show in terms of um, our releases and also we do like giveaways there and stuff. So it's just a really nice place to be if you want um, to be more engaged with the Odd Loop community. That night, one of my friends also told us that she was engaged, which was really exciting news. I used a half box and a Coffee Monsters coat emoji to mark that. Um, I'm at the age now where all of my friends are either getting engaged, married, or having babies, and so I guess that's something to look forward to in terms of me or myself. Um, but that is the end of the week. Thank you all very much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and give this video a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!